We are, of course, live at the biggest big top in the U.S. And, of course, this has a long history. This the longest running consecutive circus owned by a family business. It's 77 years and this is Kristen Cara. She is the granddaughter of the founder of the Carson and Barnes Circus. Yep. Uh, tell me a little bit about how this got started. Well, my grandfather first saw a circus, his first circus back when he was eight years old and fell in love with it. And then him and his father and brother just decided to start the circus and it started off with a dog and pony and it grew into the largest circus in the U.S. So. And of course he kind of took a leap of faith. He, he uh, decided to buy a huge herd of Absolutely. elephants like Viola we see here behind yeah. us. Hi he, Viola. He went out and purchased 25 and everybody thought he was completely gone crazy but now they kind of think he was a genius in that fact. So. That's awesome. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about how you, your day. You get up early, you move on to the next town. And, hi Viola, you she's like my just, shoe. Yeah, she's just saying hi. Are you curious? Oh my yeah. goodness. Well we get up in the morning and we'll travel. We average about 60 miles and we'll go to the next town. We set up the tent. It takes us about three hours to set everything up. We have two performances every day, no days off. Um, wow. Two hours long live entertainment. So. And then we uh, uh, will finish the shows, tear the tent down, get some sleep, and go do it again the next morning. So, <laughs> a quite a big job for the biggest big top yeah, honor. But we, I guess we, you have a crew of more than a hundred. Yep, we've got about a hundred people, 110 that travel with us. We'll travel to 18, 20 different states throughout the year, about 18,000 miles over our, our year. So. Wow, that's a lot of travel, yeah. but it's a wonderful show and a fun show. It's coming up, of course, we have shows today. We have shows moving on to Palmyra and Jacksonville later this week. Coming up on KHBA this morning, we're going to get a sneak peek behind the scenes with some flying trapeze artists.